That's now men. I sat on the stoop, smoked blunts with them, drunk 40s with them, yeah, old DSA nines. From you know A to saying? Rich, and then they to Kev, go, to you know, whoever. You know, and then took them up to Club 2000 when we popped the bottles. You know what I mean? Cut that for a minute. Now don't cut nothing. Feel no, hold on, listen. Catch it. This tell them what he tell them. Fix this them. man did more things than the average motherfucker could do in Harlem, uh -huh. and nobody can chop it. Uh -huh. He's that nigga. That's what it is, man. You know what I mean? So just so you know, man, this is what it is. That's why I can sit on the stoop. At what time is it? At 11.30 at night. You know what I mean? In Harlem on 7th Avenue, 146. You know what I mean? Guess what? He was off the stoop at an early age. Huh. You know what I mean? That's why he can talk the way he talk right now. My nigga, listen, man. I was out here from 75 or 76 when I was 11 and 12 years old. Nigga, 1975 I've been out here. I was up at 11 years old, well. my nigga. You know, so all that crap in here. You know what I mean? I gotta process that so I can do a big fake. Come here, man. This my man. This my man. Now hold up, my nigga. Fuck here. Hold up. This is what we talking about. Sit down right here. We gonna sit on the stoop. Nah, nah, this the old heads. Nah, this how the old heads do it. Sit right there. This how the old heads do it. Hold up. You know what I mean? So this this how the old heads do it. So you know what I mean? We sit on the stoops with the youngin and we give games to get tunes. And we tell them don't get involved in drugs, don't get involved in the streets, don't get involved in none of that. It ain't worth it, man. It's most of the big case. I'm gonna my man right here. Big man, it's all basketball. Yeah, because most of y'all get into hustling, and y'all don't know the consequences, and y'all start telling. So if you don't get yourself in that situation, you don't gotta tell. Go get a job. Amazon hiring, Prime hiring. This is the best time in the world. Hey, right now. Hold up, they got my big homie. Hold up, hold up, back up so we can get it. This yeah, my, yo, yeah, this yeah, my yeah. big homie. Right. Listen, I was a kid. I just, yo, I just told him about I was out here from 75 and 76 when I was 11 and 12. This is the name I was hearing at 11 and 12. When he went down, the way he handled his situation, let me know how I had to handle my situation. And that's why I'm shaking his hand. And I'm gonna let him be known. Clear. You know? He was oh. running around with my parents. Uh -huh. I was at work. You know what I mean? He did 37 years in prison. So I'm letting you know, I don't know him from back then. I know of him from back then. I know his name, I seen him. I heard his work, I know his work. And this is how Harlem do, my nigga. I'm giving him his flowers. Every time I see him. You know what I mean? Tell me what year you went in. I think maybe you get a hat. You go to the barbershop on the 18th. In Lennox, that's why I saw you at that day. You heard that? He went in what, 82? He went in 1982, my nigga. In 1982, I just third turned 18 years old, and he set the blueprint. You know what I mean? He set the blueprint for how men supposed to handle it when your evil deeds catch up with you, my nigga. 
When my evil deeds get caught up with me, Azar name came to mind, my nigga. Sickle name came to mind. Remember that real men name came to mind, nigga. And that's why I'm, I'm honored to be here with it. Yeah, I'm cocky, I talk all that shit, but I give my flowers to the men that raised me. He raised me without even knowing he raised me. Like God Fisher when I was in the pants. God Fisher told me when I came in, you too wild, you gotta chill. Oh, you selling dope in the prison, you bringing underwood. Oh, stop bringing the dope in the thing. You told to me, they ain't got no administration, he's a man. They was giving me the jewels I needed. But I didn't want to hear that shit. Right. I'm keeping it 100, just like a lot of you young niggas don't want to hear. But 10 years from now, y'all gonna remember that I told you about Azar and he handled it as a man when it was time when he went down. You understand what I'm saying? And I remember that, my nigga. And when I went down, I thought of Azar while I went through my thing and he don't even know it. That's the impact this man had on me. You know what I mean? And that's how I give it up. You know what I mean? And I'm honored, my nigga. I'm honored. I tell yeah. him that every time hey, I see him. Shout, shout out to Azar. We, we can go to the same barbershop. The unique the problem is, I just skip bits and petty y'all, but the problem is people take drugs and they think it's going to be sweet. It's two things. Either you're going to get murdered or you're going to jail. Right. So you got to know the consequences, right, Azar? Right. These guys want to sell drugs and, want, and think you're just going to never have nah. a problem. Yeah. You're either nah. going to get murdered or you're going to go to jail. So do the easy thing right. now. Don't do evil. Right. Am I correct? That's right. Because yeah. if, you can that, if you can take that back, would you take that back to our back? Yeah. You know what I mean? He said the same thing, man. Hey, I'm going to just say this. I'm going to just say this. Turn around so he get his face while he talks. I want you to see the hands. That's my man. That's my big hope. I'm not proud of that. Now that I know what I know now, there you go. Now I can exhibit my redeeming quality. There you go. Okay. You know? Okay. I was part of the problem. Now I'm part of the solution. Now I'm part of the solution. There you go. Because I'm definitely. That's why I stopped fucking. I'm definitely about community now. There you go. You tell them again how much time you did so they hear you. 37. 26 and 37. You understand what I'm saying? We did over 50 years, 60 years. Wow. Together, and and it's telling nobody. Wow. Shout out to God Fisher too, man. Big right. shout out to God Fisher Fisher on the war. You understand? Let's not forget the big homies. Man. The big homies that held it down and showed us how to move. Yeah. We ain't gotta say no names of who went out there. Y'all know business, who went out there. That's their business. I'm here with you. the men that raised me, my nigga, without even knowing they was raising me. You know what I mean? Nick, you in the hall right now, so I'm glad you still man. Generation. Everybody love you, look up to you. Our generation. Our generation in the 80s. Another one. They go another one. You know what I mean? They go another one. Talk to the youth, my brother. Tell them what it's like. Talk to them. You know? Talk to them. We let them know it ain't worth it out here. Feel them in where we are. Get ready to be the camera shot. Talk to them. No, 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 no. I'm saying it to you. Enough of us have done enough time for centuries. It's imperative. That y'all get your education, you know, stay on a straight path, do not, under any circumstances, find yourself in all the pitfalls that we call ourselves up in, and be better than us. Fuck, a, fuck some coke, fuck some dope, fuck some weed, fuck some dust. Pick up a book, you know, and learn something. Other, 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 yeah, I'm looking at it, man, other than that, that dirty. Tell them who you are and what you did and why right. you where you Let at so know. they know who you are. Let them know. So I know we with legends, Let my know. nigga. Let them know. Tell them who my you name are. Is from Harlem. I spent 30 years in prison. I transformed. Huh. Because uh, all this other shit is for the birds, man. Tell them again. 30 years. 30. 30, 30 years. Azar 37. Guess me what? 26. Homicide Lou 27. And it's not Cyrus, and, and, and guess what? It's not a badge of honor. There you but, go. Know that they have a cell for you. Man. They, they have a cell do. for you, and they will lock you down for the rest of your life. Man. Shout out to all you brothers, did your time. So like we man. talking to all of y'all as men. We letting you know as men that it ain't worth it. Peace, you already know what it is. Come on, Ray, you already know. You know what I mean? We gonna sit down and we gonna do a proper joint and let them know the whole history of where we came from. No question. I'm with this, these are the big homies that I looked up to. So you understand? These are the homies I looked up to. You know what I mean? And I'm letting you know. I'm a cocky nigga, I talk that shit, but these are the brothers that I looked up to. You know what I mean? And I don't need y'all to look up to them. I need y'all to understand them and understand me. That we talking to y'all now, after 30 years in prison, to let you know it's not worth it. My daughter got married yesterday. When I left, she was seven years old. I got a 10 year old granddaughter from that same daughter. And I walked the woman down the aisle that I'm just getting to know because I missed 26 years of her life. So this shit is real, can't get no more real than that.
Got Big Face Gary out here. We putting the movement out. Unique and Big Face Gary. And no, I don't do this to everybody. Y'all look at my content. I don't come out like that. Come on, there's an OG. Man. So I'm right for the OG. Shout out to Ronito, Scott the Truth, all my friends and fam. I'm here for him because he's an OG. He ain't hesitated to come to my show. So I'm giving him some love too, man. And love didn't you, ask man. for a dime, didn't ask for nothing. He ask for nothing. You nothing. understand what I'm saying? Because that's and, how men do. And, and he don't work for free. So, but for me, he looked at my content, he loved my style, and we clicking. Love y'all. And man. that's what it is. Just so you understand, man, we're in the, we're in the house, man. Yeah, I'm trying not to curse because I know a lot of youngies. Yeah, you should be, and you should eat your money. Yeah, you know I mean, yeah, but we have them out the money. But the point is, I just want them to understand that we men. We curse because that's how you talk. That's how we talk. Because we in the hood. You know what I mean? YouTube don't understand that. But we in the hood, we curse, we say all types of things. You know what I mean? But we real about this, my nigga. But we're going to do We're going to let YouTube lead the way because they tough. Yeah, they let them lead the way. You know what I mean? Again, shout out to my unique for having me here. My crew, Ronito, Scott the Truth. All the legends, I'm on 145th and 8th. Legends, shout out to Tone. And I love y'all. At night, at night. Like we outside. Yeah, and we safe, and I feel very we safe. We outside, right my nigga. You know what I mean? So Yo, screw black. what everybody else say. This is what it is. We got Papa Stopper there. We got we got the we got the youngin right here. Just tell me what it was like growing up looking up to us. Like I just spoke what it was Man. like looking up to Azar that and Ray. Just growing up, chilling. It's epic, epic time. Man. It was time you come outside bro. How about that, right? Right. You come outside bro, with your pro kids on. He was low, niggas. Next thing you know, you go around one corner and you got a new kid sneaking money in the Right. That's how it was. He was on the 25th at least two times a day. I know I was. I was fucking up basketball sneakers. Niggas sit there and look at me like, damn, pop, what's up? What's up? I'm gonna write the 25th I'm gonna tell you this. I'm gonna tell you this. This is the same thing I fucked up with going on the light pole. I remember going to the store. I remember going to the store for people when he was out. This way he was still out. Going to the store for people that was getting to the bag. And they gave me a hundred dollar bill. It was like, yo, go get me a go get me a peppermint and some sunflower seeds. With a hundred dollar bill and told me to keep the keep change. Keep the change, my nigga. You know what I mean? That's how we kept the youngies off the street, told them to keep the change. You know what I mean? Out of a hundred dollar bill, my nigga, and what that cost? Two dollars? How about that? Come on, my Back nigga. Then it was about 15 cents. That way they felt like they was working for it. You know what I mean? You ain't gotta be no lookout. You ain't gotta hold a pack. You ain't gotta do nothing illegal. Just stay off the street and keep the change. Word. All right, that's how that we part. do it. You know what I mean? That's why we out here. You know? Just so everybody know, man. Big shout out to the dudes holding the camera down because y'all can't see it. So y'all know what time it is. Y'all can find us. We in the house, man. Rest in peace to DMX. That's my that's my homie. You know yeah, what I mean? I mean, it is what it is. I ain't even give y'all my DMX stories yet. You what? see the chain he got on his neck? I'm going to show you pictures where I was rocking the chains, and I'm going to let you know how he started rocking the chains. You know what I mean? Because the same way I looked up to Azar, the same way DMX looked up to me. You understand what I'm saying? And it ain't the brag, it ain't the boast, it just it is what it is. They came and looked at the drug dealers to see how we was moving. But we didn't have no wisdom to give them like we got now to give them. You know what I mean? Big shout out to Lou Sims on the inside, Farris. It's his daughter, uh, uh, Lou Sims' daughter's birthday. I mean, we out here, man. This is how we yeah, doing all Like I said, I've been sitting on these stoops since I was 11 years old in 1975. I was born in 1964. Remember that. Big shout out to the Bronx Edamore Projects. Big shout out to Twin Parks. You already know how we do. You know what I mean? XC Garage, T Connection. We in the house, man. You know? Come on, my nigga. What you want? You, 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 you want something? You stand there. I just want to get this. Oh, you live there, so we holding you up. And I respect that. I just want to get this to y'all before we leave, man. You know what I'm saying? To the world. I just want to get this to the world before we leave, you know? Yeah, very cool. Stay in your lane before you play out here. Ah, uh, there you go. And know that when you come out here and you decide to come off these stoops we sitting on, to enter into the game, there's rules to this shit. You get caught, you know to shut the fuck up. That part. If you don't know to shut the fuck up, then you don't need to be out here on the street. Right, stay in your lane before you play out here. You know what I mean? So don't, don't make the choices we made to have to make the mistakes we made. So you ain't got to make these decisions. Don't get involved with the streets, my nigga. Which means know your lane before you play out here. Huh. You know what I mean? Know your lane before you play out here. All right?
just want to sit there and get in the fast lane. That's their problem right. instead of sitting there right. getting in the slow, the, the slow lane, go. getting to the destination. There you go. They want to get in the fast lane and sit there and smack in front there of the fucking go. wall. Talk to them. You driving, but you ain't even staring. Nigga, just booming. And that's the little homie talking to you. Right. You know what I mean? That's the little homie talking to. That's Ooh. my family. You know what I mean? So you ain't got to listen to an old ass nigga like me. You got the little nah, homies that came up under me. That's, that's, why, I, that's why I am the way I am. Because I listen to niggas like you. Right. You know what I mean? Right. I'm a sponge. I've always right. been. I've always been a sponge. I don't know how to hang with niggas my age. Huh. Tell them again. I was again. allergic to niggas my age. Huh. Right. You know? The niggas gave me bad vibes. Oh, I was thinking yeah. like I was thinking. Let me tell you and something. even certain old niggas I ain't listen to. And I couldn't identify with the niggas sitting in the basketball. You know what he trying to say? I was 13 years old, hanging out with 40, 30, 40 to 50 year old people. You know what I mean? I was out here getting to a bag. Oh. Giving them the jewels. Their last name. name was a bag. Oh, all right. Unique Mega Audio, remember that, my nigga. They last Ain't no name faking was out that. here. That's why I'm outside, nigga. I'm sitting on the chill. I'm doing what I do. They got to relax. You know what I mean? Mr. Harlem, my mascot, though, the mayor. Uh, Mr. Harlem. Don't get it twisted. Real talk. All right? Big shout out to the truth again. Remember that. Because you can't forget the cameraman like you can't forget the DJs, my nigga. Big shout out and rest in peace to Star Child, Starsky, Biz Monkey. You understand? K Slay. You know what I mean? Those are my DJs, my nigga. I love the DJs because they made me feel good. When I felt like putting the cap in the nigga ass and they threw on certain records, I calmed my nerves. And that's why I love them. And they saved what? me and a lot of look other out, niggas. Look out for that album, Mind of a Gangster. It's coming. Oh, hold up, hold up. I gotta give I gotta give a shout out to my man, it's Gangster coming. Lou. So you know, Gangsta Lou and Pretty Tone working on a joint together. These are the yeah, men that I know. Remember that, Gangsta Lou, nigga, never forget that. You know what I mean? Never forget that. We deal with the men, Gangsta Lou. You know what I mean? Back. There you go, mob style all mob day. Mob style yes. for life. You know? Yeah. BX in the building, Black Space, 22nd Division, you already know. White Plains Road, Gun Hill. BX all day. That's right. All yeah. day. Tell me what it was like back then. Black Spades. Oh, Black Spades. Oh. Big shout out to Ben. 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 Founders of Black Spades. We out here. Alright? This is how we do, man. So if you want to see what the real Harlem look like, the real Bronx look like, we out here, man. Alright? Alright, cut some hit. Out the can of 26, yeah. he back on the strip, uh -huh. getting back in the mix. Yeah. What he mentions a gift. Trust. You stand up ten toes down, and I suggest you pay attention to this. Real. Take a little gully posse and put it in home. Uh -huh. He cut from the bottom, back. came up from the bottom. Back. Drop the book, you should go and get it. That Instagram page and the YouTube, you could go and visit. Yeah. Then you could consider yourself LinkedIn. Real. Sit front row and get juice from a kingpin. Uh -huh. How he went through it, so you ain't gotta go do it. Uh -huh. Do not pay attention, would be stupid. It's talking about a man that probably put your grandfather on probably the reason that him and your grams got along a man that generated millions on the block did his time never squilling to the cops make an audio Get it live like two G's in the night. Yeah. Drop top yeah. beamer so shine. Yeah. Yeah. I let shorty go, she was wine. Real. 
Treat her like my past, she behind me. Spin a couple bands on the dapper dead. You be back again, getting green like a Packers fan. No cap, it's a roaring uptown. Baby horn uptown, Dominican bust downs. Now we on the positive. You we got a lot to give. Now you trying to stop the kids from being an operative. So take heed, homie, lend the air. He started in uptown, he gon' finish dead. But now it ain't about selling drugs, buying cars. It's about buying property to make the community yard. So we can give back to the youth, them. Cause they the truth, them. And bless up to all the rude men. Yeah.